Would you please comment on the emerging church? Yes, I'd be happy to. <laughs> um, I think the emerging church is a fading reality. I think it has seen its best days. Its leadership is in shambles. And I could give you horrible specifics from personal lives that I know about that aren't public yet. Um, and that's not surprising given how low their view of truth and doctrine is. So for those of you who don't know, the emerging church is a very loose designation for a constellation of people, churches, and movements that are resistant to and rebelling against the excesses of mega churches and how artificial and plastic and non-relational they feel and they want to have relationships be everything and therefore they minimize doctrine because doctrine divides and relationships pull together. And there's all kinds of experimental ways of doing church and experimental ways of doing uh, spirituality. And uh, the most recent book by Claire, uh, Brian McLaren, who is their biggest guru, I would say, I have not read, but everybody I trust who's read it say it's a catastrophe. Uh, Scott McKnight, who's been one of the most cautious defenders of the emergent church, threw the towel in on this latest book by Brian McLaren and said, it's over. He's not orthodox. He's just gone so far that it's barely possible to call him a Christian anymore. So that, and his book is selling like hotcakes at Amazon right now. It just came out a few weeks ago. So he re if he represents where the emergent church is going, and I think he does, it's going into heresy. It's going away from the gospel, away from the Bible. That's what happens when you begin to prioritize relationships over truth. If truth is prioritized, you get relationships thrown in. If relationships are prioritized and truth doesn't get thrown in, it gets lost. And then the relationships are ruined, which is what I mean by saying that the leadership is in shambles. <coughs> Immorality is rampant. So I think you will not even hear the term emergent church in 10 years. I think it will be over and gone. I hope you didn't get swept up into it. It wasn't a phenomenon in the black community, I don't think. Uh, I, I think you guys are just stable enough that you didn't. <laughs> it's just, it, it, is a, it is a middle class, upper middle class white departure from orthodoxy. 